All right, about 2 p.m. on the 20th of February, 2023. I'm going to talk about two things in this video. One is the state of charge and monitoring. And just real quickly, I have four 12 volt kilovolt batteries down here, 14.4 kilowatt hours. And a long time ago, I would get on their Bluetooth app and there would be different SOC, state of charges. And it always bothered me there was such a variance in state of charges. I had them at one point 24, 24 volt configuration. Now that I have them in, in a series 48 volt configuration. Right now, the variance is about 13%. However, check this out. I use these little blue C systems. I believe these are 1733s voltmeters. Guess what? This is during charging. They're about 50% topped off right now. I mean, they're all within two one hundredth of a volt. I also installed some 12 volt battery balancers in there. And once I did that, it seems seems good. But the state of the SOC has always been jacked with these batteries. And contacted the company and they said, you know, you can discharge them all the way till they cut off or top charge them, yakety schmackety, individually charge them. And they'd get within about three or four percentage and then they'll just start drifting over time but long story short they still put out these batteries still put out pretty close to their specs 14.4 uh, kilowatt hours i take about 12 kilowatt hours out of them at night and i still have one battery that still has about 15 percent state of charge and the others are, are a lot lower so pretty close not it's it's a slightly underrated but not anything to jump out of bed and holler and start shooting at. Um, so the good thing is that these voltmeters, these Blue C Systems voltmeters, uh, can register a 12-volt battery, but they will not register a 48-volt battery. Since my system is a 48-volt system, I had to get this dog here that goes up to 60 volts, and this has been great. Jives with the Midnight's. In the Outback, or the, uh, yeah, the Outback Mate 3 right there. But <laughs> I was hoping that with this uh, EG4 Signature Solar, Vive Power 4, Yakety Schmackety monitoring software that I would have icons. I've got it fired up right here, single pack. This is what I would really like to see on a screen. Six of these batteries <laughs> showing there's real time or delayed time doesn't really matter uh, what their health is the way they have this Excel spreadsheet or whatever this was made from set up where you just have one battery and see how it scrolls through each battery and then it gives you the voltages now if someone say go over here to multi packs and what you get is you know, after things have settled down, you can scroll down here, you can check out a lot of this information, which is great if you know what you're looking at. Um, but it can get kind of, yeah. And now, granted, this battery system is not online, so these numbers will likely change um, once this thing is fired up and doing its, doing its job. But the main thing that I'm con what I would like to see is voltage of the battery, total voltage, and state of charge right here. There is some good math in here, though. I do have to say there's some pretty cool math in here. But in order to see all six, you have to have a laptop for one. Uh, even with if you had to have six, if you wanted six batteries up here to see what was going on here, you still need six batteries or um, a laptop with to show the six batteries which you know it is what it is but you can't with the multi-packs you just all you have is is an excel spreadsheet a la 1999 you know all this information here so i may i may have to uh rethink a little bit here or if someone or if i'm completely doing wrong and there is a way let me know um uh, but what i would 
what I what I'm trying to get as is that your state of charge can vary now let's go over here to the actual owner's manual of this life power for battery and if you read on page 7 I'm not going to read it to you. I know you guys don't know how to read. They can vary up to 10%. It says this is not the cause for concern or indication you are getting anything less than the full capacity of your pack. Black and white right there. It also has your battery charging parameters, which is very similar to the kilowatts, which is really nice. But what I really like is this battery charge temperature range. It goes up to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. It gets warm out here in the garage, and that actually beats the kilowatts. Um, temperature range so pretty happy about that it must be Texas engineered because it gets hotter than piss in Texas um, so I just thought I'd show you that and I'm still waiting the bus buyers because it's President's Day there's no federal mail service of course it was expected yesterday Sunday and uh, but we'll get uh, we'll get it going it's gonna be really interesting to see what they send me <clears throat> excuse me concerning these bus bars because I got the freaking bottom of the barrel bus bar here now that I've looked at other people's videos and all the issues that they've had with these pop-in insert deals <laughs> and I mean some of these bars come in tinned you know mine's just bare copper which is a horrible thing but I'd rather have tin copper because I've got tin lugs and you know even with the um, blue sea systems down there and one youtube guy um actually a couple of them if you look at these blue sea systems bus bars i'm gonna pull off this one right here and i'll show you what i'm talking about these are the maxi bus bus bars and i'm using four on on here right these things are made like a freaking sherman tank you can torque the living piss out of these, and you're not gonna you're not gonna tear them out. I have torqued the hell out of these. Um, this is a two out going down, but this is a four out right here, and they have held up. I mean, how long have I had these installed? Years. No issues. No arky sparkies. Copper sits flat on the bus bar. So my suggestion, um, Signature Solar EG4, get with Blue Sea Systems because they know how to make bus bars. Make a big freaking long copper one of these with with studs and put them right in there. <laughs> Problem solved. Then you wouldn't have customers calling you at all days of the week and you know complaining or having to send customers bus bars. But that's just thinking. Maybe they've already come up with a solution. Uh, maybe they've addressed this in other forums or with other customers, so maybe I'm just barking up a tree. But there you have it. Hope this uh, video helps you, and we'll see you next time.